Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House and welcome to Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom for this upcoming week of August the 6th through August the 12th, 2023. My name is Claire Candy Hoff and my name is also Angel Ariel as I had an angelic walk-in experience on January 11th of 2003, which I write about in my award-winning number one Amazon international bestseller, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, the autobiography of Angel Ariel. I'd like to welcome back my loyal subscribers, my lovely followers. Thank you so much for liking and sharing, recommending the Claire Candy Hoff YouTube channel. And if you are new to the channel, let me introduce myself through my full-time business, Angel Healing House, which I created 20 years ago in 2003. I'm a Reiki master teacher, having taught hundreds and hundreds of Reiki practitioners and master teachers around the world. I'm also an, a psychic and intuitive clairvoyant tarot card reader. I also do past life clearings, um, ancestral healings, as well as those wonderful recharging, re-energizing, transformative Reiki energy sessions, which can be done anywhere on the line uh, and anywhere in the world online through distant healing. If you are interested in any of my services, in spiritual mentoring, in learning Reiki, in learning tarot, please do phone me at Angel Healing House, and that number is 831-277-3716, and do remember that's Eastern Standard Time. Thank you to those people who have made donations to my uh, PayPal account for my free content. Um, if you would like to donate, I've left my PayPal account with all of my contact details in the description box down below. Now, first, <laughs> I will answer your questions. <laughs> Those people who are loyal followers will see that I do not have my usual backdrop as it's in a moving van winging its way from California to where Pete and I have moved to, to St. Petersburg, Florida. Secondly, no, I did not get a perm. <laughs> These are my natural curls, and with Florida's wonderful, wonderful humidity, my curls are absolutely loving it. So, here on Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom, like always, uh, we will receive messages from tarot, and, uh, and also some oracle cards. But as always, the first thing that we do is we look into the astrological heavens to see how the planetary energies will be affecting us. Now, first off, happy August to everyone. And for many, this will not only feel like a new month, but it will feel like a whole new way of being in the world but not like in any world that we have ever known before. For many, the entering of the second half of 2023 will have a whole different feel about it because we have expanded our consciousness at a massively accelerated rate. And many in the collective are now coming into a fully galactic human state. Think back to the energies, all those ascension symptoms of April, May, June, July that we went through, continually pushing us into higher states of conscious awareness. awareness. Now this is much more than just being able to connect with the angels or spirit for my angelic family, who I am part of, uh, we are called the Posse of Angels, the Posse of Angels is sharing that many are now becoming what they hoped to be in contact with. The easiest explanation of where many find themselves now is that we can be the walking representatives of cosmic galactic energies in our waking state. Now before this, many of us had been connecting only in our meditation or in our sleep state, but now we have infinite access to this cosmic energy any time and any place. Now, this opens amazing, amazing opportunities for a limitless increase in our access to things like information, light, healing, love, 
and the big one for many is manifestation. Our energy fields are so wide and powerful at this time that it makes us feel rather strange and dazed, as though we are outside of ourselves. And I guess in some cases, we are, because our consciousness knows how infinite and multidimensional that we are, and so much more than these limited physical forms <laughs> that we are in as spirit, as our bodies have integrated the massive, massive amounts of energetic downloads that, again, we were bombarded with in May, June, and July to physically get to to physically get us to this stage, our brains were dealing with changes as many went from beta to states of alpha, theta, delta, and omega, and beyond. You know, I was recently asked to share what I perceived to be a spiritual download and explain that this was an instantaneous influx of information from God's source creator. This can come in the form of re instant realizations, influxes of information, um, uh, uh, maybe messages in dreams that someone needs to hear in that exact moment. Perhaps it comes through in channeled messages uh, through automatic writing, or it can come in the way that I often receive the information, and that's through lyrics of songs. Perhaps we get the information from an unexpected person at an unexpected time. We can open ourselves to be more receptive to this information from God's source creator by continuing to keep our vibrational frequencies high, bright, light, and clear and by developing our relationship to spirit and the universe by asking it to communicate with us through signs and messages. Now, starting off a few days ago on August the 1st, we had a rare occurrence with the first of two full moons in one month. Now, this is such a rare occurrence that it will not be repeated for another 14 years. This Aquarius full moon is ruled by Uranus, the planet of radical change, unexpected events, and unpredictability, and will be felt by many as a destabilizing energy as it thrives on absolutely shaking things up, breaking down patterns, and delivering surprises that completely catch us off guard. And if one automatically thinks that being ca caught off guard is, is necessarily a bad thing, well, winning millions in the jackpot lottery could catch us off guard and really shake up our lives in a very big way. So just because our lives get shaken up and our patterns get broken down. Maybe those patterns didn't serve us anymore. And maybe those surprises are coming in with the fulfillment of your prayers. Now this first full moon, as, as all full moons, takes its name from something in nature. And this first full moon was the sturgeon moon. The word sturgeon means stirrer, one who stirs. And this fish can live up to 150 years because they tend to live at the bottom of the lake, stirring up the mud as it looks for food. But in August, they rise from the deep towards the surface. This rising of the sturgeon is reflecting those parts of ourselves that have been hidden for a very long time maybe just like my curls, <laughs> just underneath the surface. They were there waiting for the right humidity to go pop. Perhaps we are yearning to serve in a new way, and yet we have doubts to take action that we may not be able to do what is being asked of us. But August will bring many, of the, many in the collective those opportunities and offers of being of best service in new ways, 
we may have to face and confront our fears and actually step forward doing what our heart is longing for us to do. For this fish to have survived millions of years by adapting and persevering, it's actually teaching us just how powerful and how resilient each one of us is. Just think back over the past three years especially, how much we were lied to and the trauma and uncertainty that we went through, and yet we endured. In fact, think back to the end of last year as to what you wish to see accomplished in the brand new year of 2023. For me, at the end of last year, the only thing on my Christmas list was I wished and wished and wished to move. And lo and behold, Pete and I moved from the West Coast into our brand new place on the East Coast on August the 1st. Allow the energy of this determined fish to help push you through any hurdles you may come across in order to achieve your goals and your heartfelt intentions. To help us flow with these energies, it would be very helpful to place our focus on things like gratitude, reaping, harvesting, flourishing, flexibility, and just like the sturgeon, perseverance. Remember, don't beat yourself up if you have procrastinated or not honored your deep desires with inspired action. Now, there are many out there that may have felt like moving, but for one reason or another, they have not moved, you know, and that yet um, the posse of angels has, have told us over and over again, you never miss an opportunity. It might pass you by, but then if it's really meant for you, it will come around again. And do remember, not again, not to beat yourself up, but we, we can in any second, we can always dust ourselves off and action a new plan to try again. Because after all, each one of us is divine, multidimensional, infinite possibility. And we have the potential to do what we feel intuitively inclined to do and to follow our heartfelt wishes. Now, this has gotten us ready for an amazing opportunity for growth, creation, and also transformation. As we approach the Lion's Gate portal this coming week, which has its peak on August 8th, or many people are talking about the 8-8, the light codes of the 8 8 gateway portal will cause a massive surge of light and evolution into our mastery. In order to take full advantage of this golden opportunity, of this huge cosmic breakthrough, it will help tremendously to understand why the Lion's Gate portal has always been such a big deal. Made even bigger here in 2023, because many in the collective have now made themselves clear enough by releasing lifetimes and lifetimes of negative self-defeating karma and created space to be able to really feel these incredible revitalizing energies. Firstly, while many people focus solely on that date of 8-8, the gateway portal opened on the 28th of July and it will remain open till August the 12th. Now, during this time, the star of Sirius, S-I-R-I-U-S, the Earth, and the Orion constellation align in the sky to open this gateway, which releases an immense downpour of brilliant light and positive energies. Each year at this time, this intense light has ignited our previously uh, inactive because it was a, a DNA, because it was tampered with, with different frequencies. Um, and the 8-8 incrementally kept opening our DNA to come on board all the 
dormant strands to come alive again. And each year, it did help incrementally to get us to our present day physical forms. The transmission of this intense high frequency is awakening and triggering us to remember our divine, eternal natures, multidimensional natures, and yes, our infinite potential. The peak date of this 16-day gateway, right smack in the middle, is the 8-8, when the energy as is at its brightest and most vibrant. Now, this is why some people call August 8th the luckiest day of the year. When the sun roars through that sign of Leo on this day, there are many who see it as the perfect time to manifest a much longed for, heartfelt desire that might have seemed elusive and totally out of reach before. With the number eight signifying things like wealth and success, luck and abundance, we can use this downpouring of cosmic light to break down any illusions of barriers that we may still be hanging on to and go after our heartfelt dreams. For many, this month will be a month of divine intervention, serendipitous encounters, unimaginable abundance, blessings, and for some in the collective, miraculous breakthroughs. One could say that the stars are finally aligning and the universe is finally listening as it will deliver to many much hoped and wished for news. The way to approach this month is to expect unforeseen, fortunate, miraculous twists of fate. So come on August. I know many of us are are thinking that. Come on, August. Now, I would usually pull some runes. I would pull, usually pull my wisdom of the oracle cards, but I only packed my tarot deck, my tarot deck, and then I picked up along the way um, fortune cookie cards. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter reading today as we don't have, I, as, as my oracle cards are winging their way with my screen and uh, and and my lighting and my things that I usually have, but um, I couldn't go another week. And um, um, apologies for not posting my video next last last Saturday because the moving <laughs> moving men were moving my desk and moving my lights and moving my screen and moving everything out of the way and. Um, and I was directing traffic uh, with the boxes and everything else. But here I am, and uh, let's see what we can come out with this week. Um, August, August for me uh, has been a 180 degree turnaround. Um, I uh, I always. Uh, not always, but the last two years, um, the references to St. Petersburg, Florida, just kept on flowing in. You know, I had uh, many clients um, that were from St. Petersburg. Um, I, you know, it, it would just come up in conversations all the time. And somebody asked me, why? Why did you and Pete move to St. Petersburg? It's because Spirit directed us here. It didn't have to do with anything else. We don't follow trends, and we don't follow anything, what anybody else is doing. We follow our hearts. And the references to St. Petersburg were so loud and clear. And so we know that getting here, the people we need to meet, the opportunities uh, being here will open for us and um, we've only been here since August 1st and uh, we've met such lovely helpful people um, kind and generous and considerate and uh, and we know that it's only just going to get better and better and better because we followed spirits uh, and I would say urgings but they weren't really urgings because 
that's the only way Pete and I know how to live. So let's go to the cards. The very small desk here. <laughs> One, two, three, and see what comes out for all of us this week. First card coming out. <laughs> the first card is the Four of Wands. It's the Happy House card. <laughs> Yes, we've moved into a lovely, lovely uh, new townhome. Um, this is a card of success after hard work. The month of August, the more it progresses, it will seem like all of our hard work, or I would say not everyone, but those people who have followed their intuitions, those people who default to taking responsibility and accountability for what turns up in their lives because it's matching the energies inside of themselves. Um, uh, those people who have taken inspired action and actioned what the signs and messages that Spirit has, has asked them to step forward and do, uh, they will have a reason uh, to celebrate because uh, there are two cards of celebration in the tarot deck when I teach tarot. Uh, one is the Three of Cups. Um, and the other is the the four of wands. This is this. Oh, the I guess the world card can also be a celebration card as we're celebrating an ending and then um, a new beginning. But this is a, this is a celebration after a lot of hard work, a lot of soul searching, a lot of coming home to ourselves, and um, we can see that uh, these two people are in sync. Sometimes this is the marriage card. We could be marrying with our divine eternal nation and divine eternal natures inside and allowing ourselves uh, to be in human form, but to be led by spirit. And there is our confirmation of the white doves, which is the Holy Spirit among those beautiful white roses. The white roses are also a sign of new beginnings. So lots of people in the collective are going to be moving, moving homes, buying homes, selling homes, renting new places, all kinds of things like that. So uh, it really is a time of movement, um, as I said, for many in the collective. So what's our next card? Next card coming out for us is the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of giving and receiving. Now, with so many people on the move, uh, wherever you're directed to, just like Pete and I were directed here to St. Petersburg, uh, Florida, um, there are helpful people. Why are there helpful people there for us? Because they're divinely orchestrated and put into place for us. I mean, Spirit is not going to tell you to go somewhere um, uh, that is going to be untoward uh, if you have peace and love in your heart um, and your energies are light and bright and clear. And then what happens is you receive that reflection outside of you. So uh, now is the time after all of this hard work and celebrating this hard work is to open up and receive, is to allow yourself to receive. And this I find to be um, very difficult for many spiritual teachers and the spiritual spiritual teachers in the in the collective because they are so used to giving 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 but now the posse of angels i can hear them in there saying it really is time to receive your just desserts maybe take some time out especially at the beginning of this august after we had this massive massive push in uh, especially in may june july to, be, to get on board as cosmic galactic beings of higher consciousness in, in, in human form, it's time to take a rest, especially the first two weeks. Allow yourself, allow yourself to, um, to recharge the batteries, to um, re-energize, um, and just to collect yourself before that new that starts coming in more towards the middle or the end of August, and open to receive, open to receive from others. And, uh, and the Posse of Angels are saying, you more than deserve this, you more than deserve this. Next one that's coming out for us is the Page of Pentacles. 
quite simply, this is new abundance. This is messages about new abundance coming in. But uh, just like um, just like we said here, it's um, expect unforeseen, fortunate, miraculous twists of fate. And I guess that's why I designed the dwarf in the back of this card. You know, um, we can ask for things, but what will really shut the door on manifestation is if we tell the universe uh, that we expect it in a certain way, we, uh, we put our attachments on it as to how and when it comes in, um, there'll be nothing that will close that door of miracles and magic and serendipity and uh, synchronistic things uh, more than, um, than our uh, protestations on how things should happen. So open yourself up. Now, um, this could also be for many a new way of serving that you hadn't uh, particularly thought of before. Um, many people in this, when many spiritual teachers or those with, with uh, spiritual leanings are finding that there are so many people who are awakened now that, um, that they're their own spiritual teachers and uh, not that they're doing oursel uh, ourselves out of, a, out of a business, but we are finding more and more that, um, that maybe clientele is, uh, is receding. Uh, maybe um, things that were put in place before we, uh, don't have the same flow. This is actually uh, a good thing because it's getting us to shift our focus to thinking, what else? What else would I love to do? And just, oh my gosh, the light became very bright in here. And I, I, all I have is this one tiny little desk lamp. <laughs> so ask, please ask. Ask Spirit, show me. Show me how to be of best service. Please send me those signs and messages. And then be open. You know, you can ask until the cows come home for those messages and signs, but if you're not open to receive them, then nothing, nothing, zero, zilch is going to get in. So please, 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 please be open to serve in the way that God's source creator and your soul, your soul wishes to serve now going forth from August, from this time, August 2023 onwards. Here come the messages. <laughs> Here come the messages. We have the Knight of Wands. Um, uh, information. Information coming in. Um, communication of all kinds uh, to answer, to answer your wishes. And that's the rainbow. The rainbow in the middle of those wands coming in. And of course, the hawk is the messenger. Um, Spirit already knows you better than you know yourself. So you don't have to keep asking and asking for those things that you would you want, okay? It's about opening your eyes, opening your heart, and opening up your observation to now see what Spirit will be bringing you. They couldn't bring it to you before because it wasn't the right timing for it. But what's going to open up as far as this Lion's Gate portal and the collective is now opening up to receive this communication coming in for us. And what this brings us is a new beginning. We, some of us may feel like we're back at square one, and that's what the fool is. But being back at square one, we now have all of the wisdom and all of the knowledge and all of the experience over the, the last three years Think about how much we learned over the last three years. We certainly learned not to give ourselves to, over to anyone, no matter what they say, no matter what their agenda was. We learned that lesson. Um, you know, what we learned last five, 10, 20, 30 years. I mean, I've only been on this, this path here. I only incarnated 20 years ago as Angel Ariel and Claire Candy's body. Um, but many people have been on the spiritual path for a very long time. But now we're stepping and starting over again. That's the way it will feel. But we're more fresh and we're, uh, we're operating from that unconditional, loving, forgiving, kind. We're not triggered anymore. We, we know 
that we are divine, multidimensional, powerful, sovereign beings of, if you want to call it cosmic, angelic, or, or galactic origin, um, and that we are here to serve for not only our highest good, but for the greatest good of all concerned. And that's where many people are. Um, posse of angels, I hear them. Uh, they're saying, please tell everybody to be like a child on an adventure this time around. I mean, um, we uh, moved into this new townhouse and um, Pete and I go out every day and we find the magic. You know, it's like we expect to find the magic. We expect to find those helpful people. We expect to uh, to go on adventures and be curious and say, oh, look over there, you know, not to really plan things too stringently, uh, but let our intuitions and let the angels uh, help to direct us and, fo and, and, uh, and we follow, and we follow. And the most ama amazing things happen once we do that. And also the dog, the dog is trust, trust, trust yourself and trust the universe, that the universe knows you better than you know yourself. And what this is leading you to is the Ten of Cups. It's leading you to your soul family. So many of us have uh, experienced in the last uh, year especially um, friends um, falling out of our lives. It's not that we had um, any arguments or any, um, uh, you know, words of anger exchanged. There was just a natural parting, it seemed like, for many. Um, this could be for family, and this could be for friends, too. Uh, and what was happening is, if somebody is not of your exact signature energy, your exact resonance, um, then they're, they're not in your in your field of energy. And now this is making space for your new soul family to come in, those people that you'll be connecting with, uh, communicating with, uh, collaborating with, all of those, uh, all of those things to, to build a, a beautiful world of light. And the Ten of Cups is certainly a card of, of emotional fulfillment. So if you allow yourself to be led um, and follow those intuitive signs. Keep asking for spirit to, uh, to help you find the way. Um, you will go on your own uh, treasure map adventure and see what unfolds for you. So let's go to these new cards of mine. They're fortune cookie cards. And to wrap this up, oh, this one just popped out. Love is set to sizzle. <laughs> the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Okay, um, if you're not seeking a connection, we could have a new uh, romance with life. We could feel like we're falling in love with our lives again. You know, uh, one thing moving is done is like pushing the refresh button. Well, everything is new. You know, everything is new, trying to find where to, you know, the close, uh, the, the best grocery stores or the places to get things or, you know, or the, um, the services and things around your area. But this is for romance. Uh, and if you are single and you are looking for love, the romance now is because you have fallen in love with yourself and you, you're not triggered, and you're coming from unconditional love and forgiveness, kindness, generosity, compassion, all of those things, then that's the energy that will be drawn to you. Or you could fall in love with your, with your world, with your new world, even if you don't move locations, uh, that you're creating. Okay, let's see. Let's see what other... What? fortune cookies oh this one sexuality existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong but if single beware of temptation that could lead to trouble a child will also bring great joy so these go hand in hand romance sexuality now sexuality um and it, 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 it's a card that that I know it, it doesn't really mean 
to have sex, what it means is that you feel, you feel more alive inside of you, you know, that something like somebody has turned a switch on, um, and, uh, and you feel, you know, more like you're firing on all pistons, <laughs> you know, all the circuits are working, um, and you're, uh, and you, you just feel so bright and so alive now. So it's interesting those two cards came out together, romance and sexuality. Okay, let's get a third card Oop, to top it off. What did I just say? Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. This is all again, again about loving life. This is not about finding somebody out there to complete us. This is about loving life so much that that energy goes out and it creates our whole reality. A reality that we love, a reality filled with loving, kind, generous, helpful people, a reality that uh, keeps continuously and continually bringing us the fulfillment of our prayers and our longings and our manifestations. Um, and they want me to choose one more. Okay, one more, which just fell on the floor. Hang on. And how apt <laughs> that this one fell out. Signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Be observant. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. All you have to do is open your eyes and be observant to it. So I hope all that's been helpful for you. Uh, go out as... as um, uh, as often as you can and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. Oh, uh, now that I've moved to St. Petersburg, Florida, um, I uh, want to um, remind everyone that my Angel Healing House blog talk radio show is now going to be at 10 a.m. same time, but Eastern Standard Time. So all you East Coast people that would listen to the show at 1, it is now going to be at 10 a.m. So I hope you can still listen to the show live. And remember, if you do uh, listen live, you can call in for those free mini angel readings um, that I've given away over the last 12 and a half years. And, um, and uh, if you can't, with the new time difference of 10 a.m., um, Eastern Standard Time. Do remember that all of the shows, Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio shows, are archived on the Blog Talk Radio, Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio page and can be listened to at any date and any time. So like always, um, if you would like to contact me uh, for any of my services, learning tarot, learning Reiki, intuitive counseling, those revealing, inspirational, wonderful angel tarot card readings, and of, of course, those Reiki energy sessions done through distant healing anywhere in the world, please do phone me on 831-277-3716 Eastern Standard Time, and my website is angelhealinghouse.com. I'm wishing you love and angel blessings as always. And I do look so forward to speaking with you again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.